Welcome to the Eclipse tool for Silverlight introduction. I'm going to present a demonstration of the Eclipse tools for Silverlight, but before we start, let's talk about the Eclipse tool for Silverlight project, known also as Eclipse for SL. It is a plugin that enables the development of uh, Silverlight application within the Eclipse development environment. This is an open source project and it actually goes beyond the tool set. Uh, the goal of this project is also to provide guidance for greater interoperability between Silverlight and Java, and in particular uh, around web services, REST, and other type of standard or uh, communications. So let's get started with the demonstration and, and I'm going to show you the classical hello world so that you understand how the process works within Eclipse. Then I'm going to go through some collaboration scenario and then I will conclude the demo showing uh, how you can have a Silverlight application talking to a Java web service both being built within Eclipse. So I'll start the demonstration in uh, Eclipse uh, where I have previously installed the Eclipse tool for Silverlight plugin using the classical mechanism that Eclipse offers to add additional uh, plugins. And this is a step that is well documented on the uh, Eclipse project website. So I'm going to skip through that and go directly uh, to the creation of a Silverlight project. So in order to do that, I will just go and click to the new project. And when you install the plugin, it also comes with some uh, new templates. And one of the templates is the Silverlight project. So I'm just going to create my new project, give it a name, and create a project. So the plugin then creates a structure which is very similar to the project structure that you will find if you create a Silverlight project within Visual Studio. And this is very important because we assume that in many scenarios there might be some collaboration between the Eclipse developer, the Visual Studio developer, as well as some uh, designers that could participate in the process of creating the Silverlight application. Um, the Silverlight application is composed of uh, two main uh, pages, uh, two main XAML files. The first one, the app.xaml, uh, contains some shared resources that you will uh, use across the different pages from your project. We're not going to touch it during the Hello World, Hello World demo. We're just going to use the page.xaml, which is basically where you're going to create the user interface. So as the page opens, uh, you see uh, at the, in the bottom part uh, of the screen the XAML editor which is where you're going to add the different controls. The upper part is the place where you're going to visualize what's going on. So I'm going to start with adding a new container, which is called a stack panel, which allows to easily and quickly put the different controls. And I'm going to add a few controls. So let's start with, for example, a button. And then I will add also maybe a simple text box, as well as a password box. So I can, of course, uh, give them a name, can give a title, and I can use also the intelligence to set a few properties. Also add events. And here I'm going to add an event handler so that uh, when the user clicks on the button, something will happen. So. I'm just going to use the wizards and uh, click OK. Then when I do that, I switch over to the pages.xaml.cs, which is the, co the code behind page associated with the page that you can see here. So before typing any code, I'm just going to go uh, back uh, to the XAML file and give a name to my text box so that I can manipulate uh, this element in the code. So uh, going back to the code and just write, I'm just going to write a very simple line of code, which would be here you go, very simple to get started. So I'm just going to save that, go back to the XAML pa page, save it, and then what I can do now is just test my application by uh, using the feature run as and click run as a Silverlight application. As you can see at the bottom of the page, uh, Eclipse starts uh, the compiler and builds the test page and shows what you've just created. So if I hit the push me button, it just updates the text box. Very simple, very straightforward. The next thing I want to show is how you can tune a little bit more the look and feel of your application. So I will just add um, some, some content in my controls and um, maybe here add a 
But I'm going to stop here with the customization because I could go over uh, the different uh, attributes and customize this. But uh, what I want to show you is how you can interact with um, the designer tool. So I'm going to switch over to Microsoft Expression Blend, which is the tool typically the designer would use. So in this case, the designer will just uh, open the project you're working on. And as you can see, it displays the same component. It actually edits the same component. So what I'm going to do is just open the uh, app.xaml file and look at the XAML and replace this XAML with something that another designer has prepared for me as I'm not a designer at all. And I don't have uh, the skills to build a nice UI. So I'm just uh, loading some pretty fine styles that has been built by somebody else, a real designer. And what I'm going to do is just simply apply the styles to my different uh, components. So if I open the stack panel and see the different object, I can go to the edit style, apply resource, and I will just apply a style and do the same for the text box, like that. And finally, for the password box, I can apply my resource Okay, so I won't do any more uh, customization. I will just uh, uh, save uh, everything, close my project. I will close this one and just test it again. So as you can see, we now have the new look and feel. Okay, so the next and final thing I wanted to show in this demonstration is just how from uh, a Silverlight application you can get to uh, a Java web service. So for the purpose of the demonstration, we have built a very simple Java application which actually exposes a Java web service. So we have created a weather service. Within this service, we have a, a web service which exposes a few methods. The methods return some data which is uh, stored in some simple XML files. So what I did previously is just compile and deploy the web service on a local Tomcat server running on this machine. And then as you can see, I can get to the WSDL description, the web service description of uh, this service. So now going back to the Silverlight perspective, I'm going uh, to import an existing project. So I'm going to do that really quickly. Here we go. So I have this uh, Eclipse Silverlight weather client in which we find the same structure where we have the app.xaml, we have the page.xaml, as well as some uh, further details and uh, all the different resources that will be displayed. Um, what I did also previously is to deploy this application within the Tomcat server so that what I can do now is just go back to my uh, application. So you have the service running on Tomcat and you have the Eclipse application embedded in a test page running on the Tomcat server and accessing data which is on the web service. This sample will be uh, made available on the eclipseforsl.org website so that you can learn uh, how uh, the web service can communicate more precisely with the um, Silverlight component. So here it is, uh, we are done with the demonstration. And as a quick wrap up, I'd like to uh, go back to what I introduced and what you saw also during the demo, the fact that this plugin really enables Eclipse and Java developer to build a rich internet application using the Silverlight technologies. One of the very important facts also is that uh, although you are running in Eclipse, the way the plugin is designed and the way the technology is designed, it allows collaboration across different technologies, different tools, and different uh, roles. The web designer, the .NET developer, the Java, and Eclipse developers can work together on the same structure, on the same, on the same project, uh, providing uh, their own expertise. If you want to learn more about this project, and I would encourage you to really uh, download the plugin test and give feedback, uh, the website is at www.eclipseforsl.org and uh, try it, give some feedback, and hope you will enjoy. Thank you.